Quite possibly the most anticipated game of Week 1 Sunday, Ben Roethlisberger's Steelers against Ray Lewis's Baltimore Ravens, always a classic in the AFC North. Baltimore's opening possession. How about getting Ray, Ra Ray Rice involved? Not a bad idea. It's... You know, it's it's unusual that they were able to run the football as well as they were early. Last year, these teams played three times. Ray Rice, 84 yards combined in all three games. I thought Joe Flacco was even better than Ray Rice, Jim. I would agree. Yeah? It's outstanding. This is year two of the Joe Flacco debate between the two of you. No. <laughs> I love early. Joe Flacco. He just got to go to the next level. We'll wait till January. Nothing wrong with yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Ravens up 7-0. Ben oh, Roethlisberger ouch. sacked Better. by Terrell Suggs. He sizzled. Recovered by Haloti Nada at Pittsburgh 37. One of four Ben Roethlisberger sacks today. Doesn't look happy for them. Ray Rice, give it right back to him. Oh, look at I that mean, hard run. I mean, they ran right, right over his here. Every scoring play, in though, your is now face. viewed. I, I, can't, I cannot remember a time where the Steelers have looked less like the Steelers in the last four or five yeah. minutes. Ray Rice would later run it in for a touchdown back to the Steelers' offense. Rashard Mendenhall, 23 yards. Yeah, you're going to see very few highlights from the Steelers on offense. If we have another one coming up here, because ninth play of the drive, third and goal from the 11, Ben Roethlisberger not going to stay in the pocket, is he? No. no. Coast out a little to the left, back across the body. Yeah, nothing and nothing Sanders. you can do there. There's absolutely nothing you can do. There's too much time. You can't cover in the end zone that long. Two possessions later for the Ravens. Good decision. Checking it down to Ray Rice. Letting him do the rest. 25-yard gain to the 15. And Ray Rice with 150 yards receiving and rushing the ball. Rushed for over 1,000 yards. And you see Mount McKinney there doing a great job allowing Joe Flacco to have the time to get the ball up to Ray Rice. Nice work. Brian McKinney had a very nice afternoon. Third quarter now. Ozzie Newsom doesn't make oh. too many mistakes, does he? Somebody should block Haloti Nada. I don't know. I, I, maybe it's just me, but he shouldn't be clean like that. Comes in with a huge hit, also recovered the fumble, turning it over to the Baltimore offense, Flacco. To tight end, Ed oh, Dixon. Nice job 18, of accelerating the game. 19 that. seconds into oh. the second half. And the Ravens leading 29 to 7. A couple of Pittsburgh possessions later, Roethlisberger looking for Heath Miller, but every now and then, Ed Reed is hanging around back there ready to do that. Well, Ed was back there a couple of times. Yeah. Ed had eight interceptions last year in eight games. Some, some crazy He's on a quicker that. pace this had year. He had, he had two today. That led to a field goal, and Baltimore led 32-7 into the fourth quarter. And we've seen this before. Roethlisberger to Ed Reed. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got to tell Ben that Ed, Ed's, Ed's just sitting back there watching team. him. That's Roethlisberger's fourth turnover of the afternoon. Third interception, Mike Tomlin says, yeah, put it behind us. Was that a kiss? I think it was. I think it was. It's okay. But it was a cheek. I didn't think yeah. he turned his cheek. He said, oh. Ray Rice, 107 yards rushing and one kiss from the head coach. Yeah. One huge win for the Ravens. 35-7 over Pittsburgh.